Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Kelly. Uh, this is House of Virgo. Please smash that like button, subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo, we're going to get into this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see um, what their current feelings are for you at this time. Okay. Okay, keys and a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Oh, okay, so this person sees you perhaps as some kind of an option right now, okay, or in June. Um, they have choices, um, they have a decision, they probably have been stringing you along. Um, and, hmm mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection and camera um i feel like it's so weird i feel like this person um you know i, I feel like this person gets this has this idea in their head that you are like the person for them like you are like they see themselves in you virgo okay um I feel like they also keep your photos, uh, but I'm not sure why. Um, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, sometimes we're going, I don't know. I, I feel like this person, they actually think that you're keeping them as an option right now, okay? Um, but you're thinking they're keeping you as an option. <laughs> I feel like you're, and you're both holding, like there's a lack of trust here. There, there is. There's a lack of trust here. I feel like there's two people here that don't really, like, each thinks the other is stringing the other along. Excuse me, uh, along. This person, they think maybe that you just wanted to have fun. You didn't want anything serious with them. Okay, so, so then they turn around and kind of did the same thing to you, but maybe, I don't know how you felt really, Virgo. I mean, we could take a look at it, but... I feel like this person, I mean, they, they think that like you're a smooth talker, Virgo, or they think that you have like this gift of gab or this ability to like, uh, say certain things and speak in a certain language or manner, um, that you can be very persuasive, um, that you're like a fast talker, like, you know, like you don't miss a beat when you communicate. <laughs> With this person i feel like it's like they're like a, a little intimidated by you um i feel like they 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 feel like you are assertive with your words like if you want something you you just blurt it out you just say it you just speak your mind okay but there is this mirroring here so i feel like there is some type of similarity between the two of you and I don't know if you like sent pictures back and forth if they have the pictures of you or you have pictures of them there's some type of connection to a camera or a lens or pictures or memories photos like i do feel like this person still has pictures of you and they look at these pictures of you okay um i mean like they see you are just in your element they see you are someone who is like pretty resourceful you're like solid <laughs> you know what I mean but I don't know like I feel like this person just thinks that you view them as an option they have you on some kind of a pedestal like they're not good enough for you that's how they feel so but they mirror your your actions so I, I'm not saying Virgo that you put this person as an option like, I don't know specifically what your situation is different for each of you, but whoever this person is, could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, um, or like another Earth sign, or they could have Earth in their chart somewhere, but I feel like this person mimics you. And if you were not like the type of person to say how you felt, um, if you weren't someone who was like, feels very safe opening up just because that's your demeanor like are you just take a while before you open up this person views you as someone who like they think you were stringing them along oh, 
<laughs> they think you were stringing them along. Okay. Now, don't yell at me. I know you guys are like, that's not what I was doing. But, I mean, there's something here about self-reflection. So, I don't know. Virgo, do you, do you put yourself in this person's shoes and say, you know, it's possible. Maybe they were just acting or mimicking me or reacting because I wasn't opening up. So, then they weren't opening up. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm not saying it's their fault. But I feel like um, there was this mirroring. And I feel like, why, did, would the, why would this person still have pictures of you? Why would they still be you know, um, reminiscing, keeping them as keepsakes as well. Even if there are, they like made it seem like they had other options as well. No, you were like, they have your pictures as a keepsake, at least here with this camera. Like they somehow, I don't know if they still look at them or they kept them. They kept photos of you. Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay. That's crazy. What else? What else can you tell Virgo about how this, their current feelings for Virgo? Okay. Yeah. See, they think that you, they think that you moved on. This person, I mean, or that you'll be back at least, that maybe you temporarily moved, left and that you'll be back. But this person feels like you've like withdrawn from the relationship or you don't want to be in it or you just temporarily or just like left. They feel like you ended something here, you know, and so they're not, they're mimicking you. So they're not really reaching out. They're just doing whatever you do, Virgo. I feel like this person does the same. Like if you left, then that to them, they're like, okay, Virgo left. Virgo ended something here. Um, so I'm going to do the same. That's kind of what I feel like this person it follows you. Like whatever you do, they're not, I, I don't know, there's a similarity between the two of you, but they're not like, I don't picture them, at least here, I don't see any energy. Uh, they think that like you tried to get what you wanted and you were, you know, with that Knight of Swords being assertive in the relationship and then kind of like was like, well, I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting my needs met. So I'm going to leave and end it. And this person it just kind of like, okay, well, Virgo's done. So I'm not going to chase after Virgo, but I'm just going to keep thinking about Virgo and I'm just going to keep looking at their pictures and keep my options open as well. Okay. So I mean, I don't know if this person has like an inability to just say what, what it is that they want or say what it is that they need or speak up, but they, I feel like they feel like they tried to offer love, but that maybe you had your arms closed to it. Why do I have only one glove on one arm? Okay. Well, I'm setting a trend. How about that? I don't know my other glove went. I just noticed. <laughs> I'm having a day. Yeah, I feel like this person, they believe that they tried to offer love. They tried to give you love. They tried to, like, many times come in with the Ace of Cups or have, like, a new start with you. Um, and you just didn't want to have that with them. Or you, um, and this is, I'm not saying this is what you did. I'm just saying how their feelings, how they're viewing it. And I feel like this person kind of views, like, you felt like they weren't going to fill your cup, so to speak, and and that maybe you had other options and you weren't sure what you wanted. I don't know why this person feels this way. Um, okay, here's a king of swords. So, yeah. It could, you could be connecting also with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but I feel like this person... Um, like right now they're they're kind of cold. Like they're they're okay to talk to you. Like if you talk to them or if you initiate some truth or be open and honest and communicate with them, but they feel like you're a very strategic person. Um that you um like if you want something, you take your time to figure out how you're going to get it. Like this person I mean, I feel like this person does have feelings for you though that they do like seriously i don't know if you guys had a lot of stops and starts and maybe you kept if you had stops and starts but you kept communicating with them but then every time like nobody was taking a leader position i think you two people were kind of passive and then i think that maybe you were the one that took more of a, a an aggressive or an assertive role I don't really feel like this person was all that assertive. 
and they were just kind of like well whatever you want and i feel like that's their energy still okay i do feel like though that if they like they just want to talk to you they do they want to have like some type of um communication they want to initiate some type of communication with you so um you could uh, like kind of overcome some obstacles or you know any conflict that you guys might have like they just there with the sword they just want to cut through all the bull try to figure out like what happened and try to come together and um you know be a team and try to like create build something here together you know like as partners yeah, I mean, Virgo, like, the only cup card here is the Four of Cups, which is, like, like emotional, being emotionally unfulfilled or just apathetic towards a relationship, okay? Um, let me see if we can see if this person, like, what their emotions are towards Virgo. What is this person's emotions towards Virgo? Okay. I just saw it. Yep, the Three of Cups. Okay. So, I mean, they do want to have, like, some type of um, reunion with you. Um, they do want to get together and, and just be, like, happily in love and, you know, things like that. Why, why does this person mirror Virgo? Like, why don't they just be who they are? Okay. So, they're just very passive. This is a very passive person. That's the four of swords. The four, look, the four, you can't, you're not out like leading an army when you're, you're sleeping half the day or when you're a napper. You know, this person is just more like, no, let's just keep the peace. I don't like conflict. I don't want confrontation. I, I'm not the type of person to go out and stir the pot. You know, whatever it is, I just want to sit on the couch and I just want to relax or I want to go take a nap. I don't want to talk about the relationship. If you don't want the relationship, okay, then we won't have it. If you do, okay, then you got to lead and you tell me what to do. And But I feel like when you did, I feel like when you did or when you do try to lead the relationship to try to get your needs met, this person probably was, it feels like they just wanted you to be patient with them. Yeah. This person just wanted you to be patient. Like, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest knight in the deck, seriously. Like, slower than a snail, not even kidding. Years and years and years before this person could ever really, I don't know, make, arrive to, uh, and I feel like you had the Knight of Swords, so you were more, like, that's the fastest knight in the deck, so you're in a hurry, it looks like. They view, at least they view you that way as you were too, like too much in a hurry to get the relationship going or something like that. And listen, if you've been like doing this for 20 years with someone and 20 years has gone by and person hasn't like came to their senses about whether they want to commit or not, then it's like, yo, dude, <laughs> Virgo's like done. <laughs> like, come on. Like, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> so I just kind of feel like Virgo, this person... <clears throat> It's weird because it, it's it's like anything that you would want from them, they're fine to give, except for um, them making a decision about committing in the relationship. Because remember, though, even the way we started off the reading, this person, many options, um, many decisions to make, um, maybe just wasn't ready to commit to something here, okay? and got the high priestess so they were just kind of keeping quiet about it just like not really saying anything i think it mostly i feel like if this person had said listen i'm not ready to like i can't can we just have one night stands or something you would have left a quite a long time ago so you know but i feel like they haven't really left because they're still reminiscing on your photos They're still reminiscing and I don't know I'm just hearing mirror selfie a mirror selfie I don't know what that means they just said mirror selfie okay they have your for some of you this person as legit got your picture on their mirror in their like bedroom <laughs> or somewhere or maybe on their on their phone like as their like wallpaper I mean you are 
Like every morning they wake up and then they get themselves like fixed up in the mirror and your picture's like right there in the mirror. Or maybe it's in like a mirror kind of frame. I mean, like they see your picture every day. It's almost as if you are there <laughs> with them every day when you're not there in real life. Okay. They see it. They look at it. Okay. I don't know. Like, you know how people, do you remember like in the 80s you would have like those plastic things with the pictures in them like a, you just roll it out and <laughs> in your wallet or something I mean they have for some of you there is a picture of you in their wallet they carry a wallet but for others they have so somewhere in their home a, a, like their most favorite picture of you that they have of you that either you gave them or you you showed them or I don't know how they got it it could be a picture of the two of you together they still have it they still look at it. It's still up. It's not being covered. They have little candles around it. It's a little shrine. And then they go like, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of Virgo. Okay, that's extreme. But you know what I mean? This, the energy is definitely there. And that's kind of a secret. I feel like this person... Um, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. Seven of Swords. I mean, I just feel like that. Like it's a seek. It's like a little secret that they have your. Like they haven't really given up. They're just so passive. They're just kind of thinking that you know maybe you'll come back around again and try to take the lead. And then you know, I, is this person ever going to be ready for Virgo? Like, what is the deal? I mean, listen. For those of you who've like waited around twenty years for someone that you're in a relationship with, who couldn't commit. I know you don't want to hear this and you can click off right now. But for those of you like are just curious, I mean, first of all, I want to ask why this person like takes so long. Why did they, why, oh, page of cups. Okay. Well, there's an immaturity as well. Oh my gosh, look at this. I feel like for a lot of you, this person, I mean, d listen, there's definitely feelings there. With all those, eight, those um, the, the Ace of Cups there like four times, there's definitely feelings there. Um, and I can tell you right now that they do want to apologize for, because um, they're doing some self-reflection with that mirror looking at themselves. Um, and, and they're doing some self-reflection of like why they decided to string you along or keep you as an option. Um, and search out other people when that's not really what they wanted. They were just mirroring you. And I think they were just trying to keep themselves occupied. But at the same time, I feel like this person wants to apologize for that. They should have just, like their thought process, like I got to apologize to Virgo. I should have just stayed in my core and stayed true to who I am. You know, that kind of thing. But I also feel like this person, um, they hesitated. A lot of it to do with money and finances and also... Um, I don't know. It's like they think too much. <laughs> they just overthink. They th they think it over and over and over before. There's just you know. There's just some people they gotta like explore all the different rivers that live to us lead to the sea. But if they finally can like just choose a freaking lane, like this person, not a risk taker when it comes to love. Like they gotta have all their eyes dotted, all their T's crossed before making a decision crazy I feel like this person when it comes to relationships like committing I don't know if it it's got to be perfect it's got to be perfect I mean this person doesn't like I don't feel like they have a problem picking out between three different types of tomatoes I don't think that's really an issue it's the big ticket items like a long term like a proposal or a marriage or a long term committed thing um, for some of you, um, they were keeping their options open, um, what I see here, um, because they were too busy looking at themselves in the mirror. For some of you, this person was too busy taking selfies look, with the camera and looking at pictures of themselves, and they were just like, and just wanted to be single, you know, or just kind of keep you string, stringing you along until they were ready to settle down. I feel like this person strung along with the page of cups here in kind of like being like saying nice, sweet nothings to you to keep you around until they were decided about what they wanted to do as far as investing in something long term here. 
okay and if if it wasn't like a really long time and you've just been dating for look anything over a year and somebody hasn't committed then like be gone a year is long enough depending of course like if you're if you're young and you know young enough that you want to start a family um yeah it just depends on you know your age bracket of course but okay yeah this person they have like um they struggle they have like a perfectionism kind of thing i feel like um this person <laughs> Here's their fears, you know, like it just feels like, okay, well, you know, I will like, cause I do feel like there's feelings there. I don't feel like it has anything to do with a lack of love for you at all. I just feel like this person looks very practically at relationships, you know, like the, the emotions are there, but they look very practically at relationships. It's like, okay, well, if I invest in this, is this going to leave me like in a poverty mindset? Is this, it's something to do with finances. You know what I mean? Should I share my finances with Virgo? You know, should I like, they had a great, they, what are they thinking about? It's like, they're not thinking positively about how like, you know, two, two heads are better than one and not thinking about how, like how much more people can build together and have when they're in a partnership. This person's like, no, if I, if I build or invest, then this could happen. This, this five of pentacles. You know, where it's like, oh, it's going to be too much worry and I'll be isolated and, you know, the poverty kind of thing or just we won't have enough money. I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like love doesn't seem to be a driving factor for this person making a decision to have a relationship. That's why when I'm asking, what are their feelings for you? Um, like four of cups, three of cups, page of cups. This is all very kind of minimal. Not, not that it doesn't exist, but I want to say minimal and like it's, it's, it's more playful type of emotions and not things and not serious, you know, Virgo. Okay. So what is this person going to do going forward? Okay. The Hierophant. Well, this is like, you know, I feel like this, this person was rebelling from the whole idea of commitment and marriage. Like I do feel like they want to. Um, I feel like they will, but let me see. They won't, they're, they're not going to rebel about it, or rebel against the idea anymore. Um, let me see. Because the Hierophant is, it's kind of like, um, you know, like fulfilling those expectations, conforming to the idea of having marriage or a long-term commitment. Yeah, you're going to hear from them. Oh, this is going to be shocking news. It's going to come in pretty quick in June that I feel like this, they're, they're, they're just going to be bombarding you, reaching out to you. I don't know what's going on because before they are so passive, but something here, I don't know, a, a, a switch has flipped within this person. What's making this happen here for Virgo? What's causing this person to just kind of... Wow, the Ace of Cups. Listen, Virgo, this is like some kind of gift coming down from up above. That they, they fight. I feel like this person has known all along that you are the person for them. They've always known it. I mean, who the hell keeps somebody else's picture up in a frame or on, on their the backdrop of their phone, the wallpaper, or like somewhere on the mirror? you don't do that to people that you're just having a fling with so they've always known but they've pushed back every time right even though it's almost as if they would give you the love and they would offer it and then you stopped um you you stopped accepting it you were like no <laughs> and that was it it's done because it was something was taking too long because I feel like Virgo, I feel like maybe every time they accepted it, it was only ever an ace. It was always like a potential of here, start again, on again, off again, on again, off again. And now like here they come. They're gonna, I see them doing it, but I feel like they're actually gonna like defend and fight this time. But why? Like it feels like they're having, you know, that ace of cups. It's not those little aces. It's this big one now. It feels like this person is seeing you as a blessing 
like, I don't know or if, if you guys are in communication or there's separation going on right now. I don't know. It just, you know, in some ways it just kind of feels like a big old light bulb <laughs> being handed down. Like they're having some kind of a light bulb moment here. Finally deciding. Let me see. What else is like causing this person? Okay. Look at this. Want to leave a legacy. I don't know. There, I feel like somebody here has just grown the F up, maybe, for some of you. Um, like this person is like, oh my gosh, retirement. This can be the Ten of Cups. There, there's something here that has to do with age. I'm not Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. There's something here that has to do something with, like, with age, like leaving a legacy with this person. Like they want to retire. They want to settle down. Something's happening to this person um, that they're like... wanting to um they're ready but i just want to see like virgo what's your what's your energy okay i mean i feel like some of you might just be like okay um we'll talk you know i mean i feel like it, this is the person that you feel is the one that could be yeah is the person that you want to connect with i do feel that way um, but they have to come to you, you know, you're not going to be the one to take this assertive lead because they've been passive and I feel like you are kind of like, no, you have to come to me. I'll, I'll be willing to listen, um, to compromise. Um, I'll take some time to like, I'll think about the decision about coming together. You might be willing to sit down and hear them out. Um, because I feel like with the nine of cups, this is somebody that, um, it's kind of like a wish for you. It's like a, the person, okay, the king of cups to start, have like a new beginning, a fresh new start, erase the past, finish, everything's done, we've completed, now let's start over afresh. Um, king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you as well. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person has a lot of regret. Um for not what is all that noise a lot of regret for not um being someone that you needed them to be okay this emperor emperor takes a leadership role they're sad about that um oh that's my grandson's racetrack can you hear it i hope you can hear it i'll try to block out the background noise but He's got one of those electric or battery operated racetracks that just go around and around and around like this relationship, round and around and around. So I feel like this person has a lot of regret and remorse for not taking that leadership role. The emperor is not passive. And when I say leadership, I mean someone that you can just stand up and say uh, to not kind of simp out or be a pick Misha kind of thing. Someone that could just stand up and say, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. You know, this is what I need. So they kind of have some um, remorse about not doing that. Okay. Somebody's like, I don't know. The Hierophant's here. This person coming to Jesus or something. They're having some kind of moment. <laughs> I don't know. There was some kind of moment. Um, there's also this phrase they're giving me. Uh, this person saying, I wish I hadn't listened to my father. I wish I had not listened to what my father said. Okay. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, so Virgo, um, Virgo, I just feel like this person, I just feel like they're, they're kind of like not going to marry you anymore and they're going to do what they need to do and, and speak up. And I feel like that's all you really ever want is for someone to just speak their truth, just tell, just say to you, it doesn't have to be lovey-dovey or emotions or feelings. It's just, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> do you want McDonald's or do you want Burger King? What do you want? <laughs> do you want fries or do you want a hamburger? What do you want to eat? <laughs> don't tell me, I don't care, whatever you want. No, what do you want? <laughs> what? This is crazy. Do you want strawberry or do you want chocolate? Well, I don't care. Like, whatever you get, it's fine. Whatever you want. I'll have whatever you're having. No. <laughs> 
what do you want? That's all I want to know. Do you even know what you want? Do, what do you like? I don't know. I'm good. Whatever. <laughs> passive. Very passive. Okay. All right. Release your ex. Fell in reverse. Okay. Well, you can if you want. If this is your ex. Some of you have not released your ex. You're still waiting for them to come around. If that's your message, then this is your message, okay? Some of you, some of you like are like, no, I don't care if that card's upside down. I'm releasing this person. Goodbye. But others of you are not releasing the ex, okay? You're gonna you're you're gonna have an open open ear, you're gonna be willing to talk. Now I am not and I have to I swear the fact that I have to say this is just beyond me. The fact that I have to say this, I mean at, at my age, my day and age this is never something that needed to be talked about. It was just a given. If this person put hands on you, this is not for you. <laughs> if this person has put hands on you, this is not someone that you need to not be releasing. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm saying. If, and if you just are that person, it's like, no, they were just selfish. Okay, well, if they're changing and they're becoming unselfish, that's great. But if you have severe trust issues with this person, um, you should have clicked off before it started because this isn't a singles reading. Yesterday's was. Okay, let's see. Okay, reconciliation. So there you go. I feel like this person has not let you go, obviously, because your picture is in a frame. Isn't that a song? I've got your, I've got your picture, photograph. I don't want your photo. Is that Def Leppard? All I want is a photograph. I want to touch you. That's an old song. You know me. You know me. I used to love that song. I rode my bike up to the school dance one time singing that. And then I think the school from my house was about five miles. So I was, <laughs> I was like 12 and I rode my bike five miles just to go to the school dance. <laughs> Sang that song the whole way because we didn't have no radios <laughs> we didn't have them little i think we had boom boxes but you, listen i know there were some kids that could do this but i could not put a boom box on my shoulder and ride my bike five miles <laughs> it's just no way that was gonna happen who did that somebody i know somebody or they like taped it to the back of their bike so they could have music on the way <laughs> on the bike oh i feel so old <laughs> so there's reconciliation okay yeah yeah there is Set. Like Virgo, it looks like you're going to like give this person maybe a chance to talk, to say, there's a soulmate. Okay. Virgo, I just think you were more of, um, I don't know, in a position to just, this person was just very passive. Okay. Someone's connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Because I do feel like there's a shift. I feel like this person's having this kind of like, oh shit, my life's ending. I got to do it now. That kind of thing. Okay. And it looks like they're going to, you know, they're going to come in. Surprise, surprise. And try to talk to you. I want to see what their hidden truth of their feelings. Hidden truth in their feelings. What's this? Okay. I love you unconditionally. And that's what it says here. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. They do. They're just not, not great decisions, not great behavior. Doesn't mean the feelings aren't there. I feel you, though, even though we are apart. Okay. So you guys must be in separation. I replay our conversations over and over again. I mean, I don't get a sense that this person is giving up. I feel like you're the one who's giving up, and rightfully so, because you might have felt like they were stringing you along, or that you know they were keeping you on the key ring, like with a bunch of other options and stuff, and couldn't make a decision. Um, so, or you might have felt like it was just like a one night kind of thing, or maybe a whole string of them. But um, I don't know, Virgo. I don't. I mean, even if that's so, I, I feel like. You don't keep a picture of the person you're stringing along. So I don't know if maybe their passive behavior made you feel like that's what was going on. And they weren't really committing. But in some way, uh, 
I feel like they were trying to, and I'm not making excuses, and I'm not trying to tell you to feel bad. You do what you have to do for yourself. If you feel like it doesn't matter, it, you know, the person didn't come to the door, you know, I don't, I don't know that this person had it in them, but somehow they're getting upright because, I don't know, they're coming to the end of something. Okay, but whatever. You don't have to take them back. You don't have to do any of that if you don't want to, obviously. Let me see. What else? What else? I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, I said that. And treating you better was like meeting you halfway. I don't feel like this person was capable of meeting you where you were because that's not where they were. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about that. Sometimes we just... You know, you connect with people and we expect them, sometimes we expect or think they're going to be where we're at and oftentimes they're not. Okay, what else do you have? Yeah, arguments and separation. There was something happened and gosh, starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink this. What have you got to lose? Take a risk, right? What is this risk? The risk for this person is they're going to actually do it and come to you with that, that higher font, that energy, like, let's do this. Let's be together. You know, let's confirm it. You know, um, I don't know. I feel like for some of you, it ended in some kind of argument or just you guys separated. And I don't feel like this person really wanted that. Um, you might have blocked them or went no contact and they ha they haven't blocked you. Or they, they, in June, maybe they had, but in June they'll be unblocking you. And you might be unblocking them if you did it to them. There's a reach out, no contact in reverse, so there's a reach out in June from this person. Okay, yeah, look financial decision and some of that was playing that role remember i told you i don't know if they didn't want to burden you with their financial struggles that played a huge role i don't feel like it has anything to do with their love for you or lack of love or anything i feel like they weren't trying to pursue it they weren't trying to get married because if there was going to be a marriage and their credit was like a two and you were in the 700s <laughs> that was going to destroy you if you didn't know about it and they didn't want you to know about it like it's a financial decision in marriage and that whole like coming together moving in together you know um you know sharing your investments and the finances like that whole thing it's not just about love it's you know two people who are sharing the financial burdens and loans and all that stuff it's it's it coming together with that you know and it's a financial partnership as well and that's how they mostly view it you know, like, I mean, the love was there, but I feel like this person, they couldn't tie you to their financial struggles. They didn't want to tie you and they didn't want to tell you because, you know, they were eating the shame cake. You know what I'm saying? They just kept eating that shame cake and hiding it from you. So, I mean, it's not your, it's not your really your burden. It's, it's a shame when people can't just open up and be honest. Because then things could just get worked out. And then there isn't going to be like this. Lack of communication causes so much. Um, so many problems. Okay. Yeah, here you go. There's the higher fun again. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid on the path. What are the spiritual beliefs? We can form what path are you on? Lead you to where you like to go. Check yourself. I feel like this person... Ugh, it's just like the traditions with the Hierophant represent like corporations. It represents um, a structure. It represents like the structure, like the, the, the meat and bones of a relationship, making something work. You know, the vows, the, you know, committed, being committed to the relationship, being committed to the marriage, which in turn makes you committed to each other. I don't know. I feel like this person, I just feel like that was some type of an issue and something's going on where uh, maybe they clean up their financial situation or they just are like you know what it doesn't matter at this point just going to come out and be honest and tell Virgo how much I love them and how much I've always loved them and I've had a crush and I've had a thing for them forever and let them know that I'm keeping their picture hanging up on the wall it's sticking in my mirror and I look at you every day and I just always dream that we're going to be together and it's like ah. <laughs> 
okay um so much going on here virgo in your reading what in the heck so let's see the chinese signs yours theirs or none of you let's see okay year of the snake year of the ox year of the rooster year of the goat year of the monkey year of the dragon year of the rat and year of the dog okay that's you or it's your person maybe it's none of you if it's not don't worry it still doesn't mean it's not your reading all right let's see if we can get some names showing up here okay names and other randoms okay so we have an H we have a J we have an O and we have a Z I'm just gonna do initials and we have an A there's an R we have a U I keep getting H and J and the letter K we have a G we have the letter V as in Victoria the letter P okay all right so we've got nine three nine six one You've got eight nine zero two oh six one seven. That's what it is. All right, you have Gemini twice, Virgo and Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, and Aquarius. Minus the Libra, there's some heavy fixed energy there. All right, September birthdays. September 3rd, 11th, September 4th and 5th, September 2nd, September 22nd, September 21st, and August birthdays, mm. Mm. no August birthdays here. Sorry, y'all. I'll do one more just to see. August birthdays. Any Augusts? August Virgos. Okay, yes. August 28th, 27th, 25th. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, tw and 21st. That's Leo. And August 23rd. Okay. And one more set of numbers. Age, give your ages, 55, 60, 37, um, 75, <clears throat> okay, all right, leave that there and get some charms for you, Virgo, a couple of charms for Virgo, oh, look at that, the dice is back, I did that yesterday. Okay, if I were you, I would go back and listen to your reading, yesterday's singles reading about who was coming towards you because that dice was in there. Um, so yeah, this person is definitely taking a risk. They're taking a gamble. They're coming in pretty fast with that eight of wands with speed, action, quick change, good news, Cupid's arrows, travel, all of that coming towards you. Okay. Um, a roll of the dice here and there's also music a music sign I forget what that's called it's not a clef I never remember the name of this but there is some type of connection between you and this person oh they just told me Andrew Dice Clay like is he even alive I think he does TikTok videos and he's funny because now he does TikTok videos where he busts on himself <laughs> where he because I don't know if you guys remember how like he was very famous in the 80s but now nobody knows who he is or remembers him so he makes TikTok videos and he goes up to people on the streets like in New York City and he's like hey, oh you want to get my you want my autograph oh you want to get a picture with me and everybody's like no 
and he's like oh nobody likes me <laughs> it's so funny because nobody re nobody pays attention to him anymore it's hilarious he's funny he's still he's getting famous again because of that in the opposite way but anyway i don't why did we go off on andrew dice clay i have no idea what's going on here but um yeah there's some type of connection connection to music so somebody either plays music or enjoys music or there's music goes back and forth between you and this person somebody could be a musician the whole lot of symbolism here and and that dice i mean it landed on a five so five might be somebody's like life path number for sure or their birthday's on the fifth okay it's very somebody's birthday's on the fifth very significant and um, also somebody likes really likes Swiss cheese or you're eat, somebody's eating Swiss cheese right now as they're listening to this like munching on some Swiss are you a mouse are you a rat <laughs> all right Virgo so I hope you enjoyed that today I will see you all back here tomorrow don't forget personal reading link is in the description box below and yeah I will see you guys back here tomorrow bye <laughs>